with Roar Children's Ministries from Freedom Church. Um, hi, students from the school. Hi, students from the church. Welcome all parents and everybody else who's viewing. Um, we have a 10 second counter on deck here. Um, and that's going to allow you to get a beverage, a snack, and a, and do a bathroom run so that you can totally focus in on God's Word today and what He would have us to know about Jesus, okay? So, here we go. Without delay, here's our timer. Come on, go run, run, get your snack. Get your beverage. Go to the bathroom. All right, that was your 10 seconds, and it was, uh, it went really quick. I know, I know, I know, it just goes really quick. It's a lot to get done in 10 seconds. However, you know, I hope you got what you needed and we can just move right along because next on deck here is our worship song. Get some wiggles out and just to uh, lift up our heart and our eyes and our minds, our spirits and our souls and everything that's in us up to the Lord um, and that he can open us up to receive what he has for us today. So here we go. today and we're going to move right along. Um, I'm trying to stay in Zoom or, or in, in camera here um, without getting on words, so bear with me. Um, but we're going to move right on along, okay? So I, um, up next is, our, whoa, we're, oh, man, I keep forgetting this. And um, if I am, I know you is, okay? So um, what? where are we? What program is this? What lesson we have? Oh my goodness. What is this? What is this a service? Is this a sermon? I don't even know, but somebody, somebody please tell me there. What is the name of this program? Okay. 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 I think I remember. I think just there at the very last, it, it just came to me like that. And maybe you was a little late on that bus. So, um, let's do it over. Okay. On the count of three, one, two, three. Ah! All right. So now that we have lifted our voices up to the Lord in a holy roar of worship and praise, and uh, we've even done a little worship song too, we're going to move on because we got prayer. We got a prayer to do. So bow your heads, close your eyes all there at home. I'm going to do the same, except for I'm not going to close my eyes because, you know, I need to read. I need to read. So uh, um, I ain't got no superpowers where I could just, you know, 
close my eyes and read everything. But anyhow, let's read this together um, out loud, okay, this prayer. And prayers are just us communicating with the Father, our heart, what's in our hearts, okay? Um, and so uh, I'm going to add a little bit of a little something something in this one because, you know, our, our, uh, our world is looking a little crazy right now. And, um, and so uh, what they need is Christ. They need Jesus in their hearts. And um, that will change all this craziness and it will become better. I mean, ultimate peace is going to be found in heaven. But we can have a little bit of uh, peace here too on earth with Christ living in us. And so let's pray that too, okay? So Heavenly Father... Through Jesus Christ, your Son, and by the Holy Spirit, we come to you in prayer. Lord, we ask that you would help us to know that Jesus is the only one who has power over death and can save us from our sin. Open our hearts and our minds to learn your word and what the Bible says about Jesus heals Jairus's, I don't even know how to say that word, uh, her name, uh, daughter. Uh, teach us what you want us to know about Jesus. And Father God, we pray for your per perfect peace to be known in the hearts of man um, and that they would know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and that they would have peace with God the Father through Jesus Christ. And Father God, that th that peace would permeate every aspect of their life, no, where, no matter where they're at, okay? And we just pray perfect peace over our neighborhoods and our we pray for protection, Father God, over your people. And Father, just continue to love us and help us to shine bright for you um, and to get that good news of the gospel out there to everyone who is in need. And that would be the whole world. So help us do that. In the name of Jesus, we all pray. There at home, you said what? Amen. And here at home, I said what? I said amen. All right, so let's go on. Today's lesson is about Jesus heals Jairus's, I'm going to say it real quick because I don't really know how to pronounce it, but anyways, Jairus's daughter. And uh, this is coming out of a series known as Knowing Jesus, and it's 31 lessons, boom, and we're just getting her down, okay? We're just chunking it off. Today's lesson, matter of fact, is... 16, and I only got 10 fingers, so let me do this, okay? So, 6 plus 10, okay? 16, this is the 16th of the series Knowing Jesus Through the Book of Mark, which is found in the Bible. Um, this lesson focuses on when Jesus heals the daughter of Jairus, okay? Meaning that's her dad, okay? So Jairus is, is, the, is the daughter of the little girl we're going to be, is the father of the little girl we're going to be talking about today, okay? Correction, moving on. And today's Bible verses, which were written by Mark back, way, way, way back, when Jesus was here on earth, we read about how Jesus demonstrates his power over death. And the importance of belief in him. Jesus is the only one who can save us from sin. He kind of like snatches a sister and a brother up out of the fire pits of hell. Okay? So, yeah. Anyways, moving on. That was a, okay. Anyway, Jesus alone has power over death. Jesus desires for us to believe and to trust in him. Okay? So, let's move on. Today, our opening song was, okay, mm, it was called Majesty. That's the name of it. It was very simple. It was beautiful. Um, the lyrics are also known as words. They praise Jesus' majesty, okay? And so when we think of magic, majesty, let's just do the majesty. You know, we bow before our king, the majesty, uh, our king Jesus. Uh, say that with me. Maj est. T, majesty, okay, majesty. Uh, we use this word when we're talking about how great, say that, say that with me, how great Jesus is. We have, we say, how great is our God. We have songs like that at church. We sing all the time. Anyhow, moving on. Our lesson today is going to demonstrate something great and majestic about Jesus, okay? So if you are ready to hear all about it, let me hear your roar. I don't know we read before, but you know, any opportunity, I got to roar for Jesus. I take it, okay? 
and I hope you do the same. All right, so moving on. Last week, Jesus was on his way to help a man whose 12 year old daughter was very sick. Uh, this man's name was named J Jairus. I'm going to stumble over that the whole time. Oh, Lord, help me. Um, anyway, he was a synagogue leader. A synagogue is also known as a church, and we, we've learned that before. It's a place where people want to learn everything about God and his word. Most synagogue leaders, well, <clears throat> they thought of themselves as more important than everyone else, okay? And they were prideful. They also did not believe Jesus. And remember, they, they hated him. They hated a brother, okay? They hated on him. Uh, but, well, not Jair, Jairus, not Jairus, Jairus, whatever his name is. Oh, not Jay, okay? Not Jay. He fell down at Jesus' feet, okay? And he begged him to come and help his daughter. He did not care about his pride. Matter of fact, he humbled himself before Jesus by falling at his feet, okay? He was showing Jesus with his body how important Jesus was to him. He was showing humility, okay? So let's move on. Can you say that word? That's kind of a big one too. Uh, humility. 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 Okay, Jesus saw Jairus' humility and began to follow him to his house. Let's pretend we use walking over to Jairus' house with Jesus. Hey, Jesus, what's up, my homie? I love you. I love you. I know you love me first, but hey, I love you too. Anyway, but on the way there, a woman touched Jesus' robe and was healed from a disease. We learned about that last week, okay? All about it, and it was awesome, okay? Um, while Jesus was still speaking, after healing this woman, okay, men came from Jairus' house and said, your daughter has died. Why trouble the teacher anymore? Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Do you think Jesus is too late? He's too, you think he's too late? Do you think he's too late? Okay, first of all, he's the author of time. Oh, no. But moving right along. Uh, while Jesus then told Jairus something very important, he said, do not be afraid any longer. Only believe. I'm going to say that last part again. Only believe. Jesus wanted Jairus to have faith and believe in him, in Jesus. He wanted him to have faith and belief in Jesus. Okay, so my question to you, all right, and, you know, it's also to me, is do you believe? Do I believe? Hmm. Hmm. Do we believe? Do we believe? Do we believe? Moving on. Jesus made everyone following him stay behind, just except for... Peter, James, John, his three disciples. Okay, see that with me. Peter, James, John. Those were his three disciples. When they made it to Jairus' house, they saw people. They were very sad. They were loudly weeping and wailing. And if you were in class with me, I would ask you to demonstrate that. I would say, give me your loud weeping and wailing noises and sounds okay and they'd be like ah! <laughs> you know that's just a demonstration i know y'all would do better at home matter of fact on the count of three do better at home one two three <laughs> they was crying and they were weeping and they were wailing okay and it was sincere they were very sad okay they had reason to be jesus said to them why are you weeping the child is not died, but is asleep. And the people, they laughed <laughs> at Jesus, okay? They laughed at him. Can you imagine that? Somebody laughing at Jesus? Hmm. Hmm. Not so smart, okay? But anyways, moving on. What, what would you have said to Jesus, as a matter of fact, if you were those people? Hmm. Anybody? Would you have laughed? You know, when he said, oh, she's not dead. She's just asleep. When obviously she was dead. What would you have said? Uh, anyways, I think it's very important that we continue to believe Jesus, just like Jairus, okay? 
Jesus put them all out of the house and took Jairus, the mother, Jairus, the, who is the father, the mother, Peter, James, and John, they all went inside. And once they was inside, Jesus took the little girl by the hand, okay? And Jesus said to her, Talitha Kuma. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't even know, but I hope so. Can you say that with me? Talitha Kum. Okay, Talitha Kum. Which means, little girl, I say to you, get up. So that's what Jesus said to the little girl. He said, little girl, I say to you, get up. All right. Immediately, the little girl, she got up and began to walk. And immediately, everyone was completely amazed. Okay, they were completely amazed. Okay, can you imagine this? She was dead. Jesus said, get up. She got up. Amazing. That's miraculous okay so jesus he gave them strict orders do not tell anyone about this what's happened here today tell nobody that's what jesus said to them jesus also told them to give her something to eat girlfriend's probably hungry she's been laying there no food. I mean, I would have been hungry. Just rub your belly. Just oh, so hungry, hungry, hungry. So, yeah, Jesus said, hey, feed this child. Feed this child, okay? Moving on. And that's that's a picture of, you know, what happened. They're all amazed. Look at those faces over there. And Jesus is happy, too. You know, she's up and she's well and she's walking and hungry, hungry. So, anyway, moving on. Even though most of the son of God leaders did not follow Jesus or even like him, for that matter. They didn't even like him. Come on. You know? Ah, Cute. Yeah. Anyway, Jairus had heard about him, and it gave him hope. Okay? He heard about Jesus, and what he had heard gave him hope. Um, you know, that's what our world needs. That's what maybe you need. That's what I need. We need hope. Okay? Um, and he threw up all of his pride and threw himself at Jesus' feet. And that's a humble position that would show how unimportant he was and how important Jesus was. Jesus is so much greater than each of us. I mean, some people, we'd be thinking, you know, hey, I'm so important, you know, and excuse me, pardon me, but, you know, I am all of that and a bag of chips. We'd be thinking that sometimes, but, hey, Jesus is much greater than each of us. Hello. Um, it is important that we realize how awesome and magnificent Jesus is. One way we can show him this is through laying ourselves down when we pray to him. Okay, so flat on the bunk or on the floor or wherever you're at, you know, face down and just praying. Okay, we can pray to him that way. And it's a humble position. And man, we don't have to pray that way every time. We just probably just can't. I'm just going to be honest. There's just going to be some times we just can't do it that way. Um, you know, that we just, you know, maybe we're driving. And we, how are you going to lay down when you're driving, okay? Or how are you going to lay down when you're at the lunch table at school? You know, you're just going to lay on a floor. Okay, so there, you get the picture. There, We can't do it that way all the time. But we should practice it irregularly when we can and we have the opportunity to do so um we don't have to do it that way every time but it does help us to remember how great he really is and how small we are okay it is amazing that jesus loves each one of us so much when he doesn't have to okay he doesn't have to he chooses to he chose to love us all right in closing shut that door Remember that Jesus is the only one who has complete power over death. He is stronger, okay, than death itself. He defeated it on the cross, okay? It's done. It's finished in, you know, his words and stuff. Um, this little girl was dead, but Jesus brought her back to life, okay? Before we believe and trust in Jesus, okay, because there was a time for all of us, we 
you know, the before Christ and then the after Christ. Well, before Christ and trusting in Jesus, we are all dead in our sins. There's nothing we can do to save ourselves. Just nothing, okay? Just, boom, I'm just going to say there's nothing. You can try everything in the whole wide world, but hey, I found nothing, okay, to save ourselves. There is nothing. Um, but Jesus and his great love for each of us can make us alive together with him when we believe and trust in him, okay? Um, it's a, it's a, we become newborn, we're alive in Christ, okay? And we've got different motives and, and we have different desires, we have a different heart, we just got a different outlook, it's different, 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 okay? And it's awesome, you know? Different isn't always bad. This difference is awesome, and uh, anyways. Every human on, our, on earth will die one day, okay? There's nothing we can stop it um, from coming or happening. There's nothing we can do, okay? Um, it's just going to happen. Every human on earth will die one day. We were um, created that way. But if we believe in Jesus Christ, we are able to live forever with God after death. Boom. Oh, isn't that awesome? I just love it. And if I think on it too long, I'll just like, you know, rest in and fall asleep. Okay, but yeah, it's peace. It's just a wonderful thought. But we're going to move right along because we got, you know, we got some worship to do. We finished our lesson. We're going to focus in on God and the words to the following song. And we're going to worship him for who he is and all he has done as we sing and dance and express our love to him. Just pour it out, okay? Pour it out, pour it out, pour it out on him. Anyway, another song. <laughs> Sing great. 
All righty, um, that's our worship song. We're going to jump into our salvation prayer. And um, if you are viewing this and this is your first time uh, being presented with an opportunity to get right with God and to um, just be his and you're, you know, get right, to get right um, and, a and have a relationship with him, praise God. I praise God for that. Um, it, you're a, a simple prayer away from that, initiating that relationship um, where it can grow and and produce much fruit okay so um we're just going to jump right in so bow your heads close your eyes um and and just pray along with me say dear god i know i'm a sinner and i ask for your forgiveness i believe jesus christ is the son of god i believe that jesus died for my sin and i believe that jesus or i believe that you raised jesus to life i want to trust jesus as my savior I want to follow Jesus as Lord from this day forward. Lord, guide my life and help me to do your will. And we pray all of this in the name of Jesus, okay? And I said we there because, you know, but it's it's personal. Make it personal. I pray all of this in the name of Jesus. I first and then we, you know, together. Um, and everybody there at home said what? And I, amen. And I said it here too. Amen, amen, amen. Let it be done. Let it be so. All right. So if you prayed that for the first time, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I'm so excited for you and your new adventure and your new relationship with God, you know, and whoa, you know, I'm about to burst over here. But anyhow, um, pray, worship, serve, get into church. Uh, matter of fact, Sunday, this Sunday, we're going to have um, our second in person, you know, face to face uh service at church so rsvp is required so get a hold of the church the information is on the war children's ministries facebook page and also the freedom church uh facebook page um you so you can get the information there okay so let's go on let's go let's move on all right um our memory verse challenge and i had to look this up because you know i have forgotten it um i know it's all about memorizing and everything but i forget stuff okay so anyhow um, let's do this together because memorizing God's word, which is, you know, the Bible and it's true because he wrote it by his Holy Spirit and his holy people. And anyhow, uh, memorizing God's word is one of the ways that we point to yourself. She says and say, she's talking to me. Uh, we can follow Jesus. Okay. So doing motions to so the words in today's memory verse helps us remember them. Okay. Uh, helps us remember so let's learn god's word now together okay so here we go this one comes out of psalms 8 9 which psalms is beautiful you should read some of it, it you would probably end up reading the whole thing over and over and over okay but anyhow it says oh lord standing for jesus sign language for jesus okay um our point to yourself say that's me that's that's talking about me right there okay our Lord, how majestic, so we're going to bow really deep, how majestic is your name, and then we're going to write his name, okay, in the air there, in all the earth, okay, so big sweeping arm motion, all the earth, okay, so now, now that we got it all together, okay, all right, even me, I think I even got it, oh, but anyways, it says, oh Lord, our point to yourself, Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. All right, good job, good job. Stamps for everybody. Almost forgot. Okay, so this one says, What would Jesus do? And oh, I don't know, I doubt you can see it, but it's green like the grass is so beautiful outside. Oh, it just makes me want to go sit in it, you know. But anyways, I maybe roll around and stuff. But anyways, anyways, anyways. Um, this is the humble prayer position challenge, okay? And this is what we were talking about in the lesson. This is what Jairus did, okay? Um, so this challenge, um, if you are willing to accept it, um, lie down on the floor, face down, and pray. You can pray for as long as you want, Um um, but this position 
of humility before Jesus will show him how great and magnificent we believe. Point to yourself and say, it's talking about me. Making this personal. We believe him to be. How great and magnificent we believe Jesus to be. So practice this, this position of prayer regularly and then just enjoy your time with Jesus, okay? So that's my specific challenge for you, okay? Um, Jesus, is, Jesus heals Jairus' daughter, calling pages up there, okay? Um, testimonies, prayer requests, and needs, okay? Kiddos, this is for you. I know God has done something for you and your family during this quarantine time, okay? Because he's done something for me. And if he does, if he can do it for me, he can do it for you. So, hey, I want you to record that with your phone or some kind of device and just send that to me, okay? Send it to me. Um, or tell me live and in person at service, okay? But anyhow, uh, do that. And then you, or tell somebody. It doesn't have to be me specifically, but, it, you know, I would love to hear um, and so I can celebrate with you. But um, anyhow, it could be anybody. Prayer request, if you got them, let us know. If you got needs, let us know, okay? And we'll join with you and get these things, um, you know, done. Get them done. Take them to God. Get something done, okay? All right? So, by your heads, close your eyes, and we're going to close this out in prayer. Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your Son, and by the Holy Spirit, we come to you in prayer. Thank you, Lord, for helping us to know that Jesus is the only one who has power over death and can save us from sin. Thank you for opening our hearts and minds to learn your word and what the Bible says about Jesus heals Jairus' daughter. Thank you for teaching us what you want us to know about Jesus. And that special request that we had there at the beginning, Father, we thank you in advance for answering that as well. And everybody at home said, what? Amen. And I said it too. Amen. Till next time, okay? Know that I love and miss you, okay? Understatement of the year, but hey, um, and that I hope to see you soon, maybe Sunday, okay? If you come, we got coloring pages, we got juices, we got we got snacks. Um, come on out, okay? And we'll learn something about Jesus together, okay? Uh, and, and if I don't see you Sunday, hey, stay healthy, stay safe, stay strong. And remember to pray and read and worship and serve. I kind of said that in the wrong order, but hey, you know, I don't care how you do it. Just do all of them, okay? Um, and also, you did a fantastic job learning about Jesus today. I got to give you it up to you. You really did. You really, really did. So here, you know, besides just a stamp that says, what would Jesus do when it's all green and stuff? Here's a, a little something to move to, okay? Get some, you know, energy. Use that energy for Jesus and stuff. But to, you know, get us moving and stuff again that will hopefully help keep your thoughts on the Lord. Okay, here we go. And by the way, I love you and God bless.